A good drama works in any language. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 international soap operas. Are you sure you feel okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Um, do, you, do you want me to get you anything? Uh, honestly, I'm okay, um, I can call Kit and let her know what happened. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll give her a buzz later on and tell her. If you're a fan of the Spanish telenovelas on this list, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo Español. Click on the link in the description box to check out the channel. For this list, we're ranking the most popular, influential, or long-running soap opera programs from around the world. We're focusing specifically on soap operas from outside the continental United States for this list, however. So, shows like Dark Shadows or The Bold and the Beautiful will not be considered. Where the hell does this come from? Well, let's just say that I believe it's in the interest of my daughter. Number 10. Un Posto al Sole Believe it or not, television didn't properly debut within Italian culture until the mid-50s, and continued to play second fiddle to the country's massive film industry right on through the 60s and 70s. Perhaps this explains why Italy's state-run Rai network was somewhat late to the party in bringing soap opera television to the masses. Un Posto al Sole was one of the first soaps to hit Italian TV, and earned a following just as public attention in the country was finally beginning to focus on the small screen. This Naples set soap may not be the most original daytime drama around, but it's well worth watching for anyone remotely interested in the history of Italian television. Number 9. Prisoner, Cell Block H Set in the Wentworth Detention Centre in the fictional town of Wentworth, Melbourne, this Australian soap was originally conceived as a limited series. The first episodes were met with such enthusiasm from viewers, however, that Prisoner was then developed as an ongoing soap opera. God, who did this? One of the women. They hate me. Taking us inside the lives of female inmates, the show was groundbreaking in its treatment of topics like homosexuality and feminism, and was deemed radical for its time. Just listen to what I say. Get back with that fat cow, and you'll regret it. When it premiered in 1979, it was advertised with the incendiary slogan, quote, If you think prison is hell for a man, imagine what it's like for a woman. Prisoner may have ended in the 1980s, but its legacy lives on, as it's inspired multiple novels, stage plays, and spin-offs, including the incredibly popular Wentworth. Look, can I go? Don't you think this is enough of a nightmare for me without having to talk to you of all people? Oh, God, I hate this place. Karen, at least there's someone here you know and can trust. Number 8. Shortland Street Are you sure this is a good idea? <sighs> yes, it's a very, very good idea. But I'm your boss. Well, all the more fun sorting out the politics in the bedroom, I so don't care. We head to New Zealand for the next soap opera on our list, Shortland Street. The show draws some comparisons to the American soap General Hospital due to its medical setting, but Shortland Street actually had some difficulty drawing in viewers when it first hit the airwaves in 1992. In fact, the show was close to cancellation, and would have been had a year's worth of episodes not been ordered in advance by its network, Television New Zealand. Listen, lady, if you don't hurry up and get a doctor, I'm gonna bleed to death. First things first. Oh, for goodness sake. Nurse Raina, take this girl through to the examination room. Thankfully, ratings and viewer response picked up, perhaps due in part to Shortland Street's decidedly dramatic tone. The show even featured a violent serial killer angle in 2007, giving a whole new meaning to the phrase, killer TV. Then this man offered me a place to stay, but when I got there, he locked me in a room. I was so afraid. Number 7. Hotel Caesar Scandinavia has a wealth of popular soap operas to its credit, with one of its most long-running and popular being Norway's Hotel Caesar. There seems to be no topic that's out of bounds for this fearless show, as Hotel Caesar made a name for itself by pushing the boundaries of sex and violence, even by soap opera standards. In later years, it would continue to break new ground for the genre by including more action and humor. Sure, attempting to tie up all the myriad plot threads that have spun through the controversial Hotel Caesar over the years may be a tall order, but that's honestly half the fun. Number 6. Winter Sonata The next soap opera on our list might be one of the most unique examples in the genre. Winter Sonata was a hugely popular and influential soap from South Korea that spawned legions of fans and imitators. The show was directed by Yoon Suk Ho as the second installment of his four-part Endless Love series, and eschews the traditionally trashy soap opera style in favor of a far more sentimental and romantic one. Yes, there is a classic amnesia plotline going on, but Winter Sonata relies more on visual style, evocative music, and the passionate performances of its cast. Consider this one highly recommended, and a quick watch at only 20 episodes. Number 5. EastEnders the 
Most soaps on this list have passionate followings in their native countries, but few possess enough transcontinental crossover appeal. This is not the case with EastEnders, however, as the revered British soap has earned praise and found fans around the world. One might not think that a soap opera set in southern England could resonate with a North American audience, but EastEnders is not your ordinary program. There's a real attention to story and character development, with a strong sense of family running throughout all the twists, turns, and intrigue. Funny, violent, and controversial, but never boring, EastEnders is one of a kind. That kid deserved it. I didn't. Sort your nut out. Number 4. Home and Away Australia has had a number of successful and influential soap operas over the years, but Home and Away might be the one that's had the most impact internationally. Home and Away has had to deal with quite a few censorship issues over the years, largely thanks to its envelope-pushing content. Yeah, look, whatever. You want next to kin? You try the club, you'll find his old man at the bar and his mum and the pokies. We're the only family he's got. Well, I would have thought you'd take better care of him then. Today, there seems to be no shortage of drug use, sex, and crazy situations in the soap opera world. But Home and Away took what was essentially a simple premise of a small New South Wales seaside community and turned it into a world-spanning cult hit. Oh, and did we mention that Thor himself, Chris Hemsworth, used to be on the show? Well, now you know. None of my business, but she seemed a bit put out you weren't at the gym. Is everything all right? Oh, no, it's all good. I mean, she... Here. Number 3. Maria La del Barrio Speaking of international appeal, Maria La del Barrio is a massively popular Mexican telenovela, one that's inspired passionate groups of fans around the world. There are more overwrought theatrics, plot twists, and salacious materials than you can shake a stick at here, but Maria La del Barrio shines through the presence of lead actress and singer Talia. Her beauty and charm seem to keep her characters near constant suffering at bay, while at the same time elevating the titular Maria to be one of the all-time greatest soap opera heroines. Number 2. Neighbors We mentioned earlier how Australia has become home to more than a few popular soap operas, and our next entry is undeniably one of its most famous exports. Neighbors was actually cancelled not long after its 1985 debut, before a pickup by a rival network resulted in the show skyrocketing in popularity. You lied that you were Anthony Johnson, the baby's father. We need to discuss why Kayla and her child are now living under your roof. Yeah, look, we'll talk about it inside. Neighbors deals with all of the dramatic issues one would expect from a soap opera, from romantic and family bust-ups to ratings-nabbing criminal storylines. The show has also featured a number of high-profile performers run through its cast, including Aussie pop star Kylie Minogue and Suicide Squad actress Margot Robbie. You don't have to push yourself. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Oh. You know what? It'd just be a lot easier on me if you could just sort out your man issues. Before we name our number one soap, here are some honorable mentions. Hasta me ascendieron. Felicidades. Nuestros dos hijos, Renata y Evaristo, van a estar muy contentas. I'm a homosexual. Oh, look, Beth, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought this thing between us was just a, a deep friendship. I, I thought you knew about Bruce and me. Habt ihr noch einen schönen Nachmittag mit Kevin? Ja, ist voll gut. Ich hätte mich auch noch vor den Kopf stoßen, nachdem du einfach abgerauscht bist. Und dann habe ich noch einen Kunden. Also, danke der Nachfrage. Number one. Coronation Street. A marriage isn't some kind of slavery. I mean, a proper marriage is a partnership, mutual support. How often do you see that, though? This is it, the biggest and most iconic name in British soap opera history. Coronation Street has been on the air for an astonishing 50-plus years and has featured a veritable who's who of British television acting talent. Well, don't worry. It's in oven and it's under control. Mm, I'm so sorry I've ruined it. I wanted our first Christmas to be so special. And don't be so soft, it will be. And we're you. It don't matter what condition you're in. The show has dealt with just about every sort of conceivable drama one could concoct for a TV soap, yet it somehow transcended that tag to become almost intrinsically linked with the nation's culture. Well, the, the situation has improved a little since then, actually. Oh, God. Does that mean I can stay? Uh, for the moment, yes, although I'm afraid I can't give you any long-term guarantees. Coronation Street isn't just huge in the UK, though, having earned and kept fans from all around the world, with no sign of its TV domination waning anytime soon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.